Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Um, my name is Honey. I'm going to talk a little bit about Aries and Scorpio compatibility. So I've got my glass of wine here ready because that's the only way I can tolerate a Scorpio. Okay, under the fucking influence. How about that? Now, I'm just taking the piss, but I'm an Aries, if you don't already know. Um, and basically, I don't really get along very well with Scorpios. Um... But I'm going to do like a general video, not about me personally, okay? I'll try not to be just about me. I'll make it about a general kind of video. Anyway, so what do I think of Aries and Scorpio relationship-wise? I think at the beginning, it's extremely intense, very passionate. What I, what I think attracts um, a Scorpio to an Aries is the chase. Aries people like to chase whether you're a male or a female you enjoy chase you enjoy chasing after someone although it's it's very short lived because Aries people are very impatient and if they don't get what they want they will run and chase someone else and also what um a Scorpio likes by the Aries is how honest and open and direct an Aries can be with everybody you know, they're an open book and Scorpio likes to ask questions and to find out the real deep issues or the the deep side to, or the dark side to a sign, especially the Aries, because the Aries will always say exactly what's on their mind, how they feel, what's happened to them in their past, etc, etc, okay? Um, also, they're both, um, they're both doers, they're very passionate people, they're driven by the same planet, which is Mars. Um, the ruler of Aries is Mars and it's also the ruler of Scorpio but Scorp Scorpio is also ruled by Pluto so they definitely share that in common which makes them very passionate and intense lovers right now long term I wouldn't recommend this to be a long term thing because I feel like it can get very nasty it can be a disaster so I wouldn't recommend it long term. And purely because um, Aries likes to have their freedom. They like to be able to go out, to do what they need to do without someone on their back and obsessed with them. Someone who's very um, controlling. And as a Scorpio, that's what Scorpios are like. But that's because they are so passionate about their partner you know they need to be in the loop of everything going on and um Aries doesn't always like that this is where you can push an Aries into the wrong place because an Aries I'm not talking about myself this is just a general video okay an Aries can go out of their way and go and cheat on their partner or put their attention elsewhere right now, if Scorpio catches wind that you're out there entertaining someone else, a Scorpio will get you back, okay? They'll be revengeful. They will do something behind your back to make you as an Aries feel bad. So when Scorpio gets Aries back, what does Aries do? Aries gets Scorpio back, but it won't be long and calculated. It will be a quick revenge thing. Because Aries people are tit for tatters, whereas Scorpio people are revengeful. So it's almost like the beef just never stops between the two because they want to get each other back. But Aries cannot take the pressure as well as a Scorpio can. A Scorpio will react from being betrayed, whereas an Aries will react just because. Like, if you don't call an Aries, for example, an Aries won't call you back just because they're, they're tit for tatters. Now, like I said, in the beginning, it will be passionate, it will be fun, the sex will be amazing, it will be very intense, but I can't picture it lasting a very long time unless the signs learn to compromise with each other. So if you're someone who knows all of the traits about yourself and about your um, partner you will be able to compromise because you know what you're like you know what your partner doesn't like or likes and you can work around that so relationship wise I would not recommend an Aries or a Scorpio long term 
However, if you're someone who just wants innocent fun, then that's absolutely fine. Or if you want a friendship or a business partner, that's absolutely fine. Relationship-wise, I wouldn't recommend it. However, if you are with one in a long-term relationship and you're happy, that's great, okay? That's good for you. Now, if it's working for you and you're happy, then it's always nice to hear that signs are able to go against what the book actually says, which is Aries and Scorpio. Don't really go together, whatever, whatever. But if you're going together and you work, good for you. However, if you are an Aries and a Scorpio, I salute you. Because when I've seen Aries and a Scorpio together, all I think is power. Like... I look at them and I feel like they're going to rule this whole school, this whole college, this whole workplace, whatever it is, an Aries and a Scorpio, they will do it together through power because they enjoy the power and the fun and the force and they want all of that, especially Scorpio, okay? But Aries likes the journey, they like the fun, they enjoy it. But long term, no. Right, goodbye.